get ready to rumble ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel it's your boy sean Bordick, and as always i am back with another banger for you guys and today today i'm going to be talking about peace and how the government is trying to keep peace with other countries and how we can keep peace from all the sanity going on um so yeah without further ado let's get into it so how can we keep the peace from all the sanity that's going on in today's world well there's a numerous things you can if you're religious you know like myself you know you can read the bible you know go to church you know talk to somebody um about you know what you're going through how um you know whatever you're going through talk to somebody you know like i said read the bible go to church if you're religious um just to obviously motivation or meditation excuse me meditation is a big thing to basically keep the peace from you know yourself and you know the people around you so you don't go sane in front of everybody um those are like one of the those are the key things that um that i try to do is to meditate often and uh you know i read my bible because i'm as you guys know i'm i'm religious um so like i said i meditate i read my bible i talk to people that i know that you know know my situation that can talk me down you know try to keep me sane you know keep me peaceful you know um it's always good to talk to people that are close to you um so that way they know kind of what's going on you know they know your whole situation um now as far as the government goes um they they're trying to keep peace as much as possible um is it helping no i'm gonna be flat out with you Keeping the peace between us and other countries, it ain't working. China wants to fight us. Russia's on its way. Ukraine's on it. Probably is going to come at us because we didn't help them to, f to fight Russia. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Honestly, in a nutshell, I don't know what to tell you. The government is trying to keep the peace somehow between other countries. I don't honestly don't know how we're not at war with other countries. I I don't know. I honestly do not know how we are not at war with other countries. Because we try to keep the peace with other countries. Yet the people in power, you know, kind of push the other countries, you know. Yeah, so... Are they really trying to keep the peace or are they just saying that they're keeping the peace just to make us happy? But yet they don't tell us the real story. They make up something just to make us, the people, feel better, you know, feel peaceful. Going back to the whole peace, peaceful thing. It's just they lie to us. I mean, they get they give us part of the truth, but they don't give us the full truth. They give us partial truths, and then they make up the rest. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Let me know down in the comment section if I'm right or if I'm wrong. Let me know. Let me know. I feel like that, again, I feel like the government only tells what they want you to hear they give you part of the truth but they don't give you the full truth because you know they don't want they don't want us to worry about you know us going to war with like russia or you know china or ukraine or whoever else wants to fight us um they're only they they they're gonna tell you oh yeah you know everything's fine you know go throughout go throughout your day you know all that stuff and then next thing you know, you got enemy ships coming over and shooting us all over the place. Am I wrong? It hasn't happened yet. I'm not saying it will happen. I'm not saying it will happen. Hope to God it doesn't. Hope to God it doesn't. But 
You never know. But the government is trying to keep peace with, you know, the government with other countries, which, it, which, hey, that's fine. Fine by me. Do whatever you feel that's necessary to keep peace with other countries because I, quite frankly, do not want to go to war. Um, especially with, you know, these higher, um, countries that have like the the better weaponry like russia and china um and if i get called to the mil if i get called to the military hey at least I, at least i would be doing good for my country i'd be standing up for what i believe in you know my country and you know at least i'd get at least i would die trying let's put it that way um but uh it is what it is, you know. Try to keep yourself sane, basically. Is this whole this whole video is about peace, keeping yourself sane through, you know, everything that you hear on TV. It, it's overwhelming. I'm going to be honest, it's overwhelming everything that you see on TV because you, you you try you try to be you try to have peace you know with everything that's going on in today's world you know today's media but it all comes down to you know self control and you know being at peace with everything basically um and just knowing what you can control what you can't control you can't control the government for for having peace with every other country. But you can control how you deal with that so-called peace with other countries. Like I said, meditate, read the Bible, go to church. If you're religious, talk to somebody, you know, let other people help you. And especially, like I said, with everything going on in today's world, it's a scare. It's a scary society out there in today's world. I'm gonna be honest, and uh, you know, we we all do the best we can with who we have in our lives and who we don't have. The rest is history. It is what it is. All right. That's up. That's going to wrap up today's video. I know this video is kind of, you know, all over the place. Hope you guys got some sort of point out of this video. Um, I guess the whole point of this video is basically have peace in everything in life. Because you can be here one day and gone the next. You never know what, you never know what the next day brings. Like I said, you could be gone, you could be here one day and gone the next. So have peace with yourself, with everybody, because you never know. That's going to wrap up today's video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a big fat like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And if you are new, welcome. My name is Sean Bullock. I am so blessed and grateful that you are part of the Sean Bullock family. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload because I post every Monday, every Thursday. You don't want to miss them because they're absolute bangers. Or should I make them as bangers as possible? If you guys haven't already, go hit all my hit all of my social medias, which will be in the description below. If you guys have any comments, concerns about me at the channel or other video ideas that I should be doing in the new in the near future, let me know down in the comments section below. And uh, yeah. As always, guys, stay positive, stay resilient, make your pain inspiration. Till next time, it's your boy, Sean Bordekir. Peace.